ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರಾವೇದ ದೇವಾ ನಾರಾಯಣಾಂಗಜ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರಾಲೋಕ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರಾಮಖ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ಯೋಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರಂ ತಪ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರಂ ಜ್ಞಾನ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರಾಗತಿ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಾಗವತ ನಾಮ ಪುರಾಣ ಲೋಕವಿಶ್ರುತ ಶೃಣುಯಾತ್ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾಯುಕ್ತ ಮಮ ಸಂತೋಷ ಕಾರಣ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಬೀನ್ ರಿಲಿಶಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಪೋಟೆಂಟ್ ಶ್ರೇಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಕವಚ ದಿಸ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಕವಚ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಕಂದ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪ ಟು ಇಂದ್ರ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಕವಚ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಎ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಹೌ we seek protection in what manner we can seek protection and it also highlights to us how the process of seeking protection is nothing but total absorption in krishna 24 shlokas every shloka teaching us the ways and means to seek protection and in that process of seeking protection achieve our ultimate objective of staying connected with bhagavan all the time also in the process of seeking protection vishwarupa teaches to indra how to celebrate various avataras and in the first segment of the narayana kavacham we see all the avataras celebrated and various avataras are invoked in the process of seeking protection in the last session we covered five shlokas of narayana kavacham we will now resume with the 6th shloka which is which happens to be the 17th shloka of the 8th adhyaya of the 6th skanda where vishwarupa further goes on celebrating the various avataras in the process of seeking protection sanat kumaro avatu kama devat aya shirsha mam pati deva helana devar shivarya ಪುರುಷಾರ್ಚನಾಂತರಾತ್ ಕೂರ್ಮೋ ಹರಿರ್ಮಾ ನಿರಯಾತ ಶೇಷಾತ್ ಮೋರ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಯಸ್ ಅವತಾರಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ವೋಕ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರೋ ಅವತು ಕಾಮದೇವಾತ್ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರಸ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರಸ್ ಸನಕ ಸನಂದನ ಸನಾತನ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರ ರೈಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ದ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ Brahma creates his Manasa Putras, the four Sanat Kumaras, Sanaka, Sanatana, Sanandana, Sanat Kumaras, properly called Sanat Kumaras, all the four. While the four were created by Brahma with the object of seeking further help in the process of creation, the Sanat Kumaras decided to engage only in Brahma Vichara. and they were not interested in the process of helping brahma with srishti to be involved in karma ever engaged in brahma vichara ever engaged in krishna bhakti sanat kumaras highlighted how one should eternally stay connect immersed in the contemplation of bhagavan so therefore here in the narayana kavacha the sanat kumaras who are the amshavataras of bhagavan are invoked sanat kumaro avatu kama devad the purpose of the avataras of sanat kumaras is to demonstrate how to align atma swarupa with paramatma swarupa how to know our true nature and how to align our nature with bhagavan 
how to realize Bhagavan and stay aligned with him all the time. And Sanat Kumaras then went on teaching to all the sages at the beginning of the new Kalpa. So therefore, here Sanat Kumaras are being invoked. Sanat Kumaro Avatu Kamadevat. How do we escape the clutches of desire? How do we escape the clutches of our cravings? How do we escape the clutches of our desires for bodily gratification? Seeking protection from Sanat Kumaras helps us to conquer our own base desires and rise above the need perennial need for bodily gratification and engage in Brahma Vichara, immerse ourselves in Krishna Bhakti. So therefore, the first protection in the shloka is seeking Sanat Kumaras, asking them to protect us from falling prey to our own base desires. Ayashirsha maam pati deva helanat. Deva helanat. Deva helanat is negligence of performing Deva Yajna. Deva Yajnath is here giving an example of one of the Panchamaha Yajnas. Dev, Deva Yajna is one of the Panchamaha Yajnas. Pitri Yajna, Deva Yajna, Brahma Yajna, Bhuta Yajna, Manushya Yajna or the five Panchamaha Yajnas. We are in samsara ever indebted to five people. We are ever indebted to the devas, ever indebted to rishis, ever indebted to the fellow human beings, our fellow human beings. We are ever in debt to all the living beings on this planet. We are ever in, in debt to our own pitrus and therefore Panchamaha Yajnas have to be performed on a day-to-day -day basis in order for us to get liberated from samsara. Now, negligence of doing or negligence of this Panchamaha Yajna is a great threat for our liberation and here the protection is sought from none other than Hayashirsha, Hayagriva. Hayashirsha maam pati deva helanad. May Hayagriva protect us from the negligence of our own negligence to do Panchamaha Yajnas. Way back in the second uh, skanda, we, we saw the glorious avatar of Hayagriva. Satre Mamasa Bhagavan Hayasira, Hayasira Shataha. It's, it seems when Brahma was performing Yajna, Hayagriva rose from that Yajna. Jnananandam Mayandevam Nimbalas Patikakritam Adharam Sarvavidhyanam Hayagriva Upasmahe. He is the very embodiment of all Jnanas and he alone can help us, protect us from ensuring that we do not stray away from performing Panchamaha Yajnas. Because why? His very very breath of Hayagriva is the chanting of the Vedas and by contemplating on Hayagriva, we are constantly reminded of our need to perform a Panchamaha Yajnas, our need to lead our lives rooted in Yajna. Ayashir Shabam Pati Deva Helanad. Devar Shivariya Purusharchanantarat Kurmo Harirmam Nirayada Seshat. Devar Shivariya Purusharchanantarat. Devar Shihi. Devar Shi is Narada. Here another Amshavatara Narada is being celebrated. May Devar Shi Narada, the noblest of all sages, may he protect. Us. May he protects, protect us from our offenses in the worship that we offer to various deities. Because when we perform different kinds of worship, knowingly or unknowingly, we commit offenses. And it is Narada who is the authority in performing various kinds of worship. The Narada Bhakti Sutras have been bestowed to us in order for us to inculcate Bhakti and perform worship to Bhagavan all the time and may that Narada protect us from the offenses that we commit when we perform our worship to Bhagavan. Devar Shirvarya Purushar Chanantarat Kurmo Harirmam Nirayat Aseshat Kurmaha Harihi Maam Nirayat Aseshat Now the famous Kurma Avatara is being celebrated. 
ಭಗವಾನ್ decided to take the avatara of kurma in order to support the churning rod of mount mandara when all the devas and the asuras were churning shirabdhi it is through the kurma avatara he enabled that mantara can stay steady as a churning rod may that kurma protect me protect me from what from what kurmo harir mam nirayad aseshat protect me from falling to the unlimited naraka lokas it is very important to realize that when we love the world do we often use this term falling in love do we fall in love with the world true when we fall when we love the world we really fall in love with the world we keep falling down and when we deeply love the world the fall is really deep we keep falling down and down and down the more attachment we have to the world the the deep the deeper is our fall and we keep falling into the naraka lokas and therefore here protection is being sought he kurma he hari protect me from falling deep down to the naraka lokas instead of loving the world may i love you alone and therefore protection for ensuring that our heart does not get misdirected from bhagavan kurmo harir mam nirayat aseshat dhanvantarir bhagavan patu apatyat dvandvad bhaya drishabho nirjitatma yagyascha lokat avatajjanantad balogaṇat krodha vashat ahindraha more avatarās are being celebrated here dhanvantarir bhagavan patu apatyat apatya knowingly or unknowingly we keep consuming undesirable things we keep eating things which are undesirable which do not promote harmony within whatever we consume whatever goes in in whatever form be it in the form of food be it in the form of air be it in the form of liquids water whatever is consumed needs to enable inner harmony harmony between the prana the body the prana the mind the intellect and ultimately aligned with our own nature so that we can focus on bhagavan if this harmony is missing we cannot concentrate meditate contemplate on him therefore whatever we consume the ahara we consume has to promote inner harmony and promote contemplation if there is disharmony there can be no contemplation on bhagavan therefore here we are seeking protection from dhanvantri dhanvantri the avatara for health dhanvantri bhagavan patu apatyat may he protect us from consuming undesirable things and in that process protect us from ill health we need to be healthy to practice all the sadhanas we need the body to be in shape so that the body can listen to whatever we ask it it can perform various tasks various kainkarya that needs to be performed and we need health and therefore here we are seeking protection from dhanvantri dhanvantarir bhagavan patu apatyat dvandvad bhaya drishabah nirjitatma rishabah nirjitatma the one who has conquered both his inner senses and outer senses who is this this is the glorious rishabha avatara rishabha avatara comes in the context of looking at the all the descendants of priyavrata priyavrata he looked at bhuloka and when he was ruling bhuloka priyavrata son of manu when he looked at the bhuloka in order to effectively rule bhuloka he divided bhuloka into seven dvipas and then his son agnidra began to rule jambudvipa agnidra then looked at jambudvipa and divided it into nine varshas and his son 
Nabhi began to rule one of the most important Varshas, which was celebrated as Nabhi Varsha. Nabhi Varsha's Nabhi's son is Rishabha, and Rishabha's son is the glorious Bharata. And it is after Bharata, Nabhi Varsha is now celebrated as Bharata Varsha. Now, Bharata's father is Rishabha Deva, another glorious avatar of Bhagavan. Rishabha, after immediately after taking birth, he decided not to rule and he practiced severe austerities and he passed on the kingdom to his son Bharata and he demonstrated the power of sense mastery and therefore here in order for see protection from the dualities of life Dvandvad Bhayat Rishabha Nirjitatma the one who demonstrated how to conquer both our inner senses and outer senses how to master the mind and how to manage the dualities of life May he protect us from the fear of the dualities caused by the dualities of life. Vandvad bhayat rishabha nirjitatma. Yajnascha lokat avatajanantad. Yajnascha lokat avatajanantad. Yajna, another avatara of Bhagavan. In the right at the beginning of Swayambhuva Manvantara, Bhagavan himself took the avatara as yajna and he was the one who first demonstrated how Indra should go about doing the duties in managing the affairs of all the three Lokas. So the first Indra is Yajna and it is this Yajna who is being celebrated here. Yajnascha, Yajna son of Prajapati, Ruchi and Akuti. He is the first Indra right at the beginning of Swayambhuva Manvantara. Yajnascha Lokat. Avatajananthad. May he protect. May Yajna protect, protect me from Loka Aparadha. Loka Aparadha, censure of people. People are ready to always criticize whenever we do even something simple, you know, even one mistake that we do, we are we get censured by people. And here, may I always walk on the right path of Dharma and may I be protected from walking away from the path of dharma by none other than yajna himself yajnas chalokat avatajjanantad baloganat krodavashad ahindraha who is this ahindra ahindra here is lord balarama himself who is uh, amsha of both bhagavan and adisesha balarama the avatara here is being celebrated baloganat kroda Krodavashat Ahindraha, Krodavashat, angry serpents. May I be protected from angry serpents? So, so angry serpent, we can also understand this in two ways. May I be protected from angry serpents? May I also be protected from serpent like anger? Both are, you know, both are important here to be understood. Baloganat Krodavashat Ahindraha, may that Balarama. Keep protecting me and ensure that I am I stay away from angry serpents and serpent serpent like anger. Dvaipayano Bhagavan Aprabhodat Buddhas to Pashandagana Pramadat Kalkikale Kala Malat Prapatu Dharmavana Yoru Kritavataraha Dvaipayano Bhagavan Aprabhodat Dvaipayana no, another glorious avatara. The avatara of Krishna Dvaipayana, who is none other than our Veda Vyasa. Dvaipayano Bhagavan Aprabhodat, Aprabhodat, ignorance of the Shastra. May, may we be protected from ignorance of the Shastra. May we always stay connected with Shastra. May we always have Shraddha in the Shastra and for that, only Vyasa can protect us. Therefore, we are seeking here protection from Vyasa. Hey Vyasa, give us that strength, give us that Shraddha, so that we always stay connected with Shastra. Buddhas tu Pashandagana Pramadad. Pashandas are atheists who create this illusion in the mind. So, Buddha, Buddha Avatara is being celebrated here. This Buddha is different to Gautama Buddha. We have seen this when we discussed the various avatars earlier in, in Bhagavatam. We saw how this avatara Buddha is different from Gautama Buddha. 
Avatara Buddha came much earlier. Avatara Buddha's birth happened in what is now celebrated as Bodh Gaya. Gautama Buddha's avatara happened later in Lumbini. And incidentally, Gautama Buddha got enlightenment when he travelled all the way from Lumbini to Bodh Gaya and sat under the tree in Bodh Gaya, he was enlightened. So therefore, these are two different Buddhas. The Buddha here being celebrated is the avatara Buddha. Buddhas to Pashandagana Pramadhat. May Buddha protect me from the Pashandas, atheists who create illusion in my mind. No, it's very, very difficult sometimes to resist the arguments of atheists, especially in today's world. It becomes very, very difficult to stay balanced and many a times we get pulled by the forces of atheism where very, very clever arguments are presented which disillusion us, which also delude our minds and therefore we need to constantly ask for protection from getting distracted from our path. Kalkikkale kalamalat prapato dharmavana yoru krutavataraha May the glorious Kalki Bhagavan, may he protect us. Now we are seeking protection from Kalki Avatara, from protection from the the darkness of Kali. Bhagavan takes the avatara of Kalki in order to end the darkness of Kali. Once again do Dharma Samstapana. Stem the decline of Dharma. He, he takes avatara of Kalki and here we are seeking protection from Kalki Bhagavan. Kalki Kale Kalamalat Prapatu Dharma Vana Yoru Krita Avataraha. May that Kalki protect me from the darkness of Kalki. Now, we see how in Narayana Kavacha, various avatars are being in invoked and we seek different kinds of protections by contemplating on the different manifestations of Bhagavan. Now, one of the questions that we often ask is, how do we seek protection from Bhagavan? We always, when we seek protection, we are always in the mode of seeking protection on our terms. We always want Bhagavan to do what we want him to do. We are always taskmasters when it, when it comes to asking anything. We are very specific in, in our ask. No, we, we just don't ask, seek protection. We actually instruct Bhagavan how he should actually be protecting us. This is what happens whenever we engage in a conversation with Bhagavan. So, we are always seeking protection on our terms, demanding, because we know that protection is his job, his duty. So, we are always asking him, you better protect me. And, and the, the asking protection is definitely something which we should be constantly doing. But how should we be asking protection is where Narayana Kavacha teaches us. Because the mistake that we end up doing is we are always asking protection on our terms and we keep telling him what he should be doing instead of realizing that he is the best in doing his own duty we start dictating how he should carry out his duty of protection instead of focusing on what we should be doing you know this is what happens all the time right we are always good at advising people how they should do their jobs and when it comes to doing our jobs you know we end up not doing it and not giving our best same thing happens when it comes to our relationship with Bhagavan as well. We start dictating to him and in the process, when we are seeking protection, we are more problem conscious than Bhagavan conscious. Seeking protection is very important, but seeking protection as we discussed last time is only for the purpose of blissful remembrance of Bhagavan. In the process of seeking protection, if remembrance of Bhagavan takes a back seat, then that prayer for protection is not an effective prayer. Because most of the time, when we ask for protection, we are problem conscious and not Bhagavan conscious. Because our thoughts are focused on the problem that has, con that has consumed us. And in the process, even when we are praying to Bhagavan, we are only thinking about him partially. We are not completely absorbed in him because we are still consumed by our problem 
and we are actually dictating how Bhagavan should help us the way we want him to help us. And in that process, our prayers are seldom powerful. So therefore, we need to become more Bhagavan conscious and less problem conscious and accept the reality that he knows what is right for us. When we seek protection, he will protect us in the best manner possible. And therefore, we can only ask for protection and not give him the details as to how he should end up protecting us. In that context, Narayana Kavacha discusses how we ask, he ask his protection throughout the day and throughout the night. All that we need to do is not give him the details as to how he should be protecting us, in what manner he can come to our help and how he can keep supporting us and protecting us. Instead of giving him the details, all that we end up doing is throughout the day, throughout whenever, for all moments of the day, we basically ask for his blanket protection. And in the next few shlokas of Narayana Kavacha, we see how we can practice this effectively. Mam Keshavaha Gadaya Prataravyad Govinda Sangavam Atta Venuho Narayana Prahta Udatta Shaktir Madhendine Vishnu Arindra Panihi Devo Aparachne Maduho Gradhan Vat Sayam Tridama Sayam Tridama Vat Madhavo Mam. Now, what is being done here is the day and the night are looked at the various parts. Our day, in our, in our Vaidika way of living, the day and the night are divided into six parts each. Essentially, there are 12 parts of the 24 hours. Every part of the 24 hours is called a ghatika. A day consists of six parts, 30 ghatikas, 12 hours. 12 hours of the day is equal to 30 ghatikas, six parts. And then the night is the remaining 12 hours, which again is divided into 6 parts, 30 ghatikas. So, one ghatika is 24 minutes. So, every day 6 parts, every part of the day is 5 ghatikas. And the day is divided into 6 parts and the night is divided into 6 parts. The first part of the day is popularly called prataha. The second part of the day, sangavam. The third part of the day, purvahna or prahna. The fourth part of the day, Madhyahna or Madhyam Dina. The fifth part of the day, Aparahna. And the sixth part of the day, Sayam. Six parts of the day. So now, what we are going to see here in Narayana Kavacham is during, for every part of the day, how do we stay connected with Bhagavan, seeking his protection all the time? You know, it's like, it's very important that we ensure that Bhagavan is there in our calendar throughout the day. You know, it's like we maintaining our calendar with all the appointments. And if we have an appointment with a very important person, you know, we, we, we highlight it and we ensure that we don't miss that appointment. Now, unfortunately, in our calendars, there is one important appointment which is missing. You know, we, our calendars may be full. We are very, very busy people. You know, throughout the week, our calendars are full. We have no time. We are very, very busy running throughout the day. But one VIP is missing in the calendar, throughout the calendar. The VIP of all VIPs. Now here in Narayana Kavacha, it teaches us that how for every part of the day, there is one VIP who needs to be given importance. We have to slot in an appointment with him and ensure that we pray to him through the every part of the day asking for his protection. So, in this sloka that we saw, the six parts of the day are being referred to and during every part of the day, we are seeking protection from Bhagavan. Mam Keshavah Gadaya Prataravyad. Pratar, the first part of the day. Mam Keshavah Gadaya Prataravyad. During the first part of the day, may Keshava wielding the divine Gada, may he protect me. No, when we start the day, we have to start the day without any fears. We have to be fearless. The problem of the day, the, the, the problems that we face, is that the day is directly proportional to the way we start the day. How we start the day becomes so very important. 
if we start the day with a mind gripped with fears the day will be full of problems the fear is going to rule our entire day and therefore the first protection that we need to seek is seeking protection from keshava especially the gada of keshava vam keshavo gadaya prataravyad may he drive away all our fears right at the beginning of the first part of the day pratah kala let keshava drive away all my fears so that i begin the day fearlessly vam keshavo gadaya pratar avyad govinda sangavam atta venuhu now comes the second part of the day second part of the day is where we start preparing ourselves we start the performing various duties of the day and when we perform any duty whatsoever we need to contemplate on govinda who is holding his flute which constantly reminds us that we need to stay tuned to him throughout the performance of the duty whatever duty we perform it does not matter whatever profession we are in does not matter whatever stage in life does not matter whatever the nature of our activities we need to seek govinda's protection and we need to contemplate on govinda who is holding a flute and keep reminding that we are like the flutes to be able instruments of govinda in performing our duties of the day govinda sangavam atta venuhu sangava is the second part of the day where we seek protection from govinda the third part of the day is prahna or it also is called purvahna narayana prahna udatta shakti narayana prahna the third part of the during the third part of the day this is the time when we are fully into doing our duties so whatever materialistic duties that we are doing for our own welfare it is very important to realize that the various shelters that we are constantly seeking in our day to day life and living are all temporary the shelter of all shelters is narayana and therefore contemplation of narayana is so very important to keep reminding ourselves that he is the ultimate refuge ultimate shelter therefore narayana prahna udatta shakti hi the third part of the day we should be stay connected with narayana seeking his protection throughout the third part of purvahna madhyan dine vishnu arindra pani hi madhyan dine now we come to the 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 fourth part of the day the the where we are at the peak of doing our activities or performing our duties and this is where we encounter various various forces which are arrayed against us and this is where we need protection from bhagavan vishnu holding arindra panihi holding his sudarshana chakra who and reminding us that he is there ready to destroy all the forces that are in our way of performing our duties madhyandine vishnu arindra pani by contemplating on bhagavan vishnu holding his sudarshana chakra we are energized the and we are given that boost of confidence that whatever we are against whatever is against us we can face the challenges what howsoever formidable they are because bhagavan is there protecting us all the time devo aparahne madhu hogradhanva deva aparahne the fifth part of the day here we are invoking maduha madusudhana ugradhanva madhu hogradhanva maduha ugradhanva we are seeking protection from madusudhana who is holding his sharanga now we are coming to almost the closer to the, the 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 fifth part the fifth part of the day almost closing coming to the last part where we are about to conclude the due performance of duties of the day it is very important to be reminded the sharanga reminds that bhaga our aim we we may miss our target when we take aim but when bhagavan aims the target is never missed 
and therefore he is constantly there assuring us that we meet our objectives of the duties that we performed by always staying with us and protecting us all the time. Devo aparachne madhu hogradhanva sayam tridhamavatu madhavo maam. Madhava is waiting for us Why when we retire for the day. The saya, saya, the sixth part of the day, it is very important to retire, contemplating on Madhava, who is the Lord, who is wait, who is the Lord of three dhamas. Madhava, he is the Lord of Mathura, the Lord of Vraja, the Lord of Dwaraka, who is waiting for us, and he we have to be constantly reminded that he has come down only for one one purpose. To guide us to his, guide all of us to his dhamma. So when we retire for the day, we should also be contemplating how have we now spent a day in a way that will take us one step closer to his dhamma, one step closer to the ultimate retirement from samsara. You know, every day that we retire, we retire for the day, but we need to contemplate. Have we, are we retiring the day on that particular day in such a way that we are getting closer and closer to the ultimate retirement, retirement from samsara by seeking protection from Madhava. Doshe Rishi Kesha Utardharatre Nishito Yeko Avatu Padvanavaha Shivatsa Dhama Pararatra Ishaha Pratyusha Isho Siddharojanadhanaha Tamodaravyad Anusandhyam Prabhate Vishveshwara. Bhagavan Kalamutihi. Now, having looked at the six parts of the day, Narana Kavacha now takes us to the next six parts, the six parts of the night. How we need to seek protection from Narayana for every part of the night as well. Doshe Rishi Kesha Utadharatre. Doshe, pra, dosha here is Pradosha Kala, which is the, the, the first portion of the night. Pradosha Kala is the first portion of the night. So it is the first portion of the night. It is when we start to go to sleep. And we all know this is the most dangerous part. Because this is where we are taken over by the mind and our dreams. And therefore, we are seeking protection from none other than Rishi Kesha. The Lord of the senses, the Lord of the mind. And we are seeking protection so that we do not end up too much of our time in this dream state, may we quickly transition into the deep sleep state. Very important. The more the time we spend in the dream state, the lesser energy we gain during the sleep. And it is very important for us to transition very quickly from few minutes of these dream state into the sushupti state. Therefore, Pradosha Kala, Doshe Krishi Kesha Utardharatre. Utardharatre. During the first portion of the night, may Krishi Kesha protect me. Ardharatre, Nishite Eko Avatu Padbhanabaha. Ardharatri, second part of the night, and Nishite, third part of the night. Together we can look at it as midnight. Very, it's very important during this time that by with this time. We should have transitioned into deep sleep. And when we transition into deep sleep, only then we are united with Padmanabha. You know, why now Narayana is being referred to as Padmanabha? Padmanabha, one from whose navel, lotus like navel, this entire creation emanated. So, therefore, Padmanabha is the name that reminds us that he is the cause of all causes, he is the source of all sources. And it is during our deep sleep state, we, be, we are one with our source. We are one with the cause of all causes. We are one with the source of all, uh, the source of all energy, the source of all bliss, the source of all vitality that we need. And therefore, for, for the, the, the midnight, the part of the night, which is Adharatri Anishita, here we are seeking protection from Padbhanabha. Doshe Rishi Kesha Utadharatre Nishito Yeko Avatu Padhanavaha Shivatsa Dhama Pararatre Ishaha Pratyusha Isho Siddharojanadhanaha Tamo Daravyad Anusandhyam Prabhate Vishpeshwaro Bhagavan Kalamurti Shivatsa Dhama Pararatre Ishaha 
Apararatri. This is the fourth part. The fourth part of the night. Apararatri. Now, Nishita is the third part. Apararatri is the fourth part. Apararatri, fourth part of the night. Srivatsadhama. The Lord on whose chest is the Srivatsa mark. No, the Srivatsa mark is another identifier of that Parabrahman. You know, he is he is Shriyapati, he is also Srivatsa. Both are Shriyapatitva is also the ident identification of Parabrahman. The Srivatsa mark on his chest is also an identifier of that Parabrahman. So it is during that fourth part of the night, we are in that Sushupti Dasha, one with that Parabrahman Narayana and we are experiencing that high end of the bliss. Therefore, we seek protection from Srivatsa for the fourth part of the night. Pratyusha Yeshosi Dharo Janardhanaha Pratyusha Pratyusha is the fifth part of the night. The fifth part of the night is almost getting closer, is almost the Brahma Murta time, the pre-dawn. There, Pratyusha Isho Asi Dharo Janardhanaha Here, we are seeking protection from Janardhana. May the fifth part of the night, during the fifth part of the night, may Janardhana, who is wielding Asi, here Asi is the sword, the, the one who is wielding Asi, may he protect us. Because now it is time for us now to come back from our deep sleep, wake up. And when we wake up, it is very important that when we are, we are engaged in Brahma Vichara. It is Brahma Murta, Brahma Vichara go together and it is during that time we need all of our Tamoguna to be completely removed and therefore the sword of Janardana is invoked which will cut off all our Tamoguna. Pratyusha Iso Siddharo Janardana Srivatsa Dhama Para Ratra Ishaha Pratyusha Iso Siddharo Janardana Damodara Avyad Anusandhyam Prabhate. Damodara Avyad Anusandhyam Prabhate. Now, the sixth, Sandhya Anusandhya, Sandhya Kala, the sixth part. Now, this is the time we have already woken up, the sixth part of the night during, and this is the, also the time of the twilight. That's why it's also called Prabha, Prabhate. It is during that time we pray to Damodara. May Damodara protect us during Sandhya Kala. Why? Because Damodara, by praying to Damodara, we look at Damodara, the one who got himself bound to the mortar by Yashoda. By looking, by looking at him bound by the ropes, you know, our ropes of samsara, uh, we, are, we get unbound from our samsara bandhana. And therefore, Prabhata Kala, we seek protection from Damodara. Srivatsa Dhama Pararatra Ishaha Pratyusha Isho Siddharo Janadhanaha Tamodara Vyad Anusandhyam Prabhate Vishveshwaraha Bhagavan Kalamurtihi He Vishveshwara Narayana You are Vishveshwara This You are master of this universe He Bhagavan You are Kalamurti Because now we looked at The whole day and the night Divided into 12 parts now, all of these, you are, you are the ruler, the, the time belongs to you. Kala Tattva belongs to you. Time, you are, the time, Kala is your very manifestation. And therefore, you as Kala Murti, I pray to you that you enable me that I invest my time only in contemplating on you. And therefore, that investment where we stay connected with Narayana, that investment gives us the highest return, the return of immortality. So, through Narayana Kavacha here, we seek protection during every part of the day and the night. In the next seg segment of the Narayana Kavacha, Vish Vishwarupa further goes on to teach Indra various other means of seeking protection. Until then, let us contemplate on the 12 parts of the day and night, the 6 parts of the day, the 6 parts of the night and let us resolve, make, take a resolution that in our busy calendars, we schedule appointments for the most important VIP in e, for e, during each parts of the day so that we stay connected with him and we keep seeking his protection throughout the day and for all parts of the night. Sarvam Sri Krishna Arpanamistu.